Look at how Korea starts this as well. Is this like a face mid though? Three walk mid and three swing mid. What is this? What is this? Hello? Hello? And this is over in three, two, no. Okay, Chihuahua makes room. There we go, game on. Finds a freebie, heard the sky flash, can put together the sky will be in mid. That's a spike plant. Now, does he get too much time? No, he's got the camera towards window. That's information. This is huge. Put together the last piece of the puzzle. Now, what does he know from this? There are two players in garage here. Now, he's heard enough of the steps. Surely that's enough to hear two potential steps. He spots out one and start working middle. And Seeker's invested here. This is quite nice. It's a big information reveal. You see Cordamento wanted to swing in with that. Try and play in with the ultimate, but doesn't get the right angle on it. Gets found for free. And now 4v4. Flash, push, no. Let's go over it. Cena's actually going to follow up, finds Chihuahua there, but... see a 2v3 here. Uncold's got to find something from mid here if Cena has any chance of really coming in. He does find that. JD will fall. Now brings it to a 2v2. Cena spots out one player. Actually going to try and counter peek onto the other there. Bonecold will find another one here. They put it to a 2v1. Korea's position was uncomplimentary oh. towards the crossfire and Cena on the way back in. Much so. Starks is trying to keep the angle safe. There's going to be a lot of targets here who... They're just going to zerg them if they get the angle. And there it is. There's the crossfire. Perfectly done. And lovely control. We will get a plant down here. Jade does have the Hunter's Fury available as well. I was about to say, the Bladestorm available for Cena if they want to try and get in on this early. Everybody's stacked up close enough. Yeah, tap it through, but the wall's still available as well. They put it down once again. Hunter's Fury invested. That looked like a big tag onto a couple of players there. But it's still a send coming out with the kills, Lauren. It is. Look at the blind chihuahua is absolutely on what? 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 And now Starks are left in what a 1v2 now. Spike's still ticking. He's got to do some work and he can't make it quite happen. But they can't progress any further. But they have no idea that he's still here. Now he's in trouble, though. That splits the angle, gets himself out of it. Tries to use all that util, turns the flash still alive. Isolates oh, another. Beautiful. Bone cold is so good, but Genie's aim is sharp as attacked and straight. <laughs> in terms of timing, the counter peak's perfect, but... Unfortunately, JD, yeah, JD lands both headshots there. Players will find Chihuahua on the way in garage. And actually, but after that start, NIP now struggling a little bit as this round progresses. Dean Ed will find a Kukos. JD, last man standing now. We'll find his third, but 9 HP stars. Yeah, let's just see if anything comes from it. Rhyme just Ferrari peaking CNED. That's a bit of a rarity. Don't often get to see CNED outdone at all. And now we are into a 3v2. There's very much a chance in this, but Killers is so solid normally. This is where he kind of gets his value. This is bread and butter, but again, now done. Okuko's just in the middle of that, uh, essentially a smoke in the middle, just unexpectedly waiting. And again, a 3v2 because the res was invested. Okay. Why are you peeking on your own? Uh, yeah, Okuko's finds the operator and punishes Starzo? that peak. From stars are no reason to swing out there that early. Oh dear, we've made a mess of this. Have you ever just seen a tragedy happening? You know, those like slow-mo car crashes. This is looking a whole, mo a whole lot like it. Now, Rhyme buys time. I'm waiting till the very end of this and post it. And apparently, Akukos now an opera. All right, and this is just a concophony of errors that have happened. And Ascend will be embarrassed by this round. Excellent play from Akukos, but he punished every single mistake and called a mentor. Well, he knows it. This one's looking all but over. Does find a Kukos, but look who's lurking at the back of the site. Always ever present in case there was any worries. There isn't. The Bucky might find Rhyme on the way in here, but Rhyme, again, a fantastic opener by him. Rhyme's making some space here in Bone Cold now. See what this man can do with this gun. Not getting much of a chance, though, sadly. Yeah, overnumbered, making sure there's no easy trade. CNED's the only game changer, really, in this one, considering he does have his ultimate. Okay. Oh, it's sloppy, but it's working so well. To oh, CNED just leaves you winded. Rhyme, not going to get the better okay. this time. He doubles down on it, and now does he go for a third? Yes, but Korea on the deeper angle. Smart work, and maybe a little too greedy on the peak, but I don't blame CNED. He normally wins them more than he loses. So now of what? A 4v3 at this point. Trade's coming in again. Okuko's going to get one, but trade's out. Korea's still there. Holds the line, and this is just brutality from both sides. Look at the flank from Chihuahua. Is it red? Is it expected? And yeah, you're right. But he still wins the fight. And actually now, Bone Cold's making his all way... I was going to say he had the perfect opportunity for that flank there. 
All right, so throw out the camera set up in window as well. I have retrieved the spike. Oh, gonna have to rethink his flank. Raul will get the plant yeah, down. Now. Pretty safe on backside as well. Oh, God. <laughs> Running into every piece of two hours utility right now. The trap wire goes off and that... That's he's him. Yeah, he's going to get close enough to find this... These footsteps. This is awful for Bone Cold. Oh. The Wawa can just chill on this. Ooh. <laughs> Got a little yeah. student coming into this sort of developed meta. Look at this walk down middle. That's a shot that gets missed as Korea does find it. Now, Bone Cold going to try and get away with it, though. I don't know if he got spotted. Seekers go down. I don't know why, but I kind of like how they sound. Rez comes in, but Ooh. look at this angle from Bone Cold. Bone Cold has such a fantastic read on how the game plays out, and he had full support from Stark, so coming through from the double doors. And this is the sort of aggression that you can't help but love. Well timed, well positioned. Yes, it was. It oh. Okay, that's almost perfect. But JD had seat. Gonna find the kill out of that. I don't think. Uh... Cena was really in a position to follow up on that flash, although it was perfectly timed. <laughs> Imagine! Imagine having to deal with this nuisance of a player. Now, Starks was getting played in as well, keep in mind. He's just quietly waiting away. They're going to be so focused on dealing with Cena, oh, and rightfully man. so, he's found another one. Of course he has. Oh, dear. 30 seconds left. And then you got Bone Cold. Yeah, Bone Cold tucked so deep in the corner of sight here. CNED once again. JD falls now. Paranoia comes through. CNED looking to follow up with the Blade Storm now. I could cost actually going to find him, but. Considering they're in a retake, they will have Astra's back into play now. Akukos is back into play, and here we go. Although Ryan did find Bone Cold, is still Akukos towards the side. There we go, but the crossfire is decent for Ascend. They're holding on for now, but look at LAP. We've got Kriya and JD still trying to find these players. They're all stacked up using that wall as just a new way to slice the map. Too much to play with. And uh, Bone Cold already further ahead here. Just in no man's land, though. Pretty isolated. Still going to get Kriya on the turn, but... There is room to work here, and NIP are going to work. That's a good couple of kills back to back now. Killers and Stark, so. Oh my word, where did it all go wrong? Oh, a 1v4 for Keyless. Gotta find one on the way in, but Ryan just gonna swing him. Gonna get himself in. There goes the flash as well. Trying to play back in towards B, but Korea playing this nicely. Finds Cordamenta and Bone Cold in this scenario. So, as it stands, NIP will have the favorable numbers to try and make this rotation. It comes down to JD. JD's got himself close. Oh, yeah, JD's in a great spot. Love that. The on this side, and they've been un unable to clear any information. That's enough of a giveaway. And that's going to be the player that you know is there's still more. You've got to know there's oh. still more. He just sends it. And it doesn't quite find target. But now look at the time. 15 seconds. I said need to hit this now if they want this. Now, Bonecold's done really well, but JD's still alive. Chihuahua on the clear. Oh, the adjustment not made in time. Chihuahua almost does the mad jump down. Spike could be planted. Four seconds. Three. It's down. And now a 2v3. But look at the HP. Stark so low. Bonecold a little lower too. This is not going to be easy yet. The Starzo gets off both the heal and the Seekers though, so Bone Cold immediately capitalizing on that. And Korea now, his position's noted. That Seeker is creeping through. It's through the wall finally. To try and clear out Graffiti or swinging out, but the setup here from Ascend is too strong. Look at it. Gonna have to back away and hold on to this. It does get two tags, but no kill. Let's look at this retake positioning. Now, Astra's still pretty far away. That's going to take some time to get there. So they need to progress early, utility-wise. JD's now out. Chihuahua's got a little, not a lot. JD does find Cena, and here we go. This is the retake in action. JD going to isolate the one on short. Swings on the side. JD is so good today. The tip of the spear, but Coldementa wants it on the action. Three for Coldementa. But he needs four. Now, does he know where Korea is? Surely going to hear the steps. Now knows the gunfire. Has to sit in this corner. He's nowhere else to run and nowhere to hide. You golden mentor. What a round. Mass once again. <laughs> See, that's what he gets. Pull out a little bit, but he will try and reset. But he's used his dash here, so it's going to be difficult for him to get out. Does have his smoke, so he will actually escape. But Ascend going to full reset towards mid here. Spam. Oh, that was damn close, Stark. So blind as well. 
Oh, we'll see now the damage coming back in off the back of the Seekers. Cordamenta there towards Shady. The trade comes out. Cordamenta again. The man wants to go oh. clutch twice in a row. 12 to 9. NIP. They, they were looking okay for a little while. Their, their genuine was a, a couple of good runs from them. They've had a couple of decent moments, but I've got to say, overall, uh, I think they've kind of fallen on their own sword at times, you know, and they seem a little out of their depths here for now. 9-12 is still a pretty respectable scoreline. However, this being their map choice is the scarier fact, and you have Icebox, which is a, a very strong ascend map afterwards, and you've got Cena now just confident, just just, <laughs> just st stood out in the middle, <laughs> just straight out, just like, nah, I'm alright, don't worry, I've got, I know my boy's got this, I've got Boom cold. cold on the flank! A couple of cautionary shots coming through, none quite... Okay. <laughs> Help! Help, I've seen something I shouldn't have. That was disgusting! Um, it is a one for one trade out eventually, but a 4v4, and look at this angle for Stark, so it could have been big, but now it just kind of creates this brawl scenario and existence, aka Kukos. Gonna be trying to get that heal up, get everyone ready to rock and roll, try and get the rest of this done. Spike's still not planted. Yeah, 13 seconds left. CNED's gotta be dug out of this position on Stark. Actually, gonna swing all the way onto it. A two for two trade, but Bone Cold. A little rough around the edges, and NIP are on the site. Holding close angles, they have those SMGs, they want these close quarters combat scenarios, and CNED wins his. Rhyme goes down the two rifles, though. That's Korea and Chihuahua. Keep that in mind. If they still stand, there's still danger. Bone Cold oh. caught unawares. Lovely off angle up top there. And CNED tries to turn around, tries to turret this out. But it is just Cold Amenta now. And we know what it's like. Vipers, post plants. It ain't pretty. Do as much as you want here. Hissing away like a creeper in Minecraft. Oh. But look at the damage Cold Amenta's on today, but it does not matter. But it, for me, it relies on them having a strong attack inside. Kriya creeps through stars out the fallen kitchen. And Seekers once again invested. Keyless got to back away from this now. He's the last man standing on B. But the pinch is coming through here. Not going to find anything before he falls. <clears throat> 5v3 now. Spike planted. Bone Cold just about getting into this scene. Ed's still there. Not easy to bring this up in, considering some of these angles are quite yeah. tucked in. Yeah. Tricky to clear safely, and you can see what they'd be up against. You've got a Kukos, you've got Kriya there. It's not nice. Bone Cold can offer himself up as the first step forward, but he does lose his life for it, so now Cena might be tasked with just trying to keep that up. Back away. Now let's talk about what's working here for- Over. Doesn't lose his life, but- Spike planted. Spike will go down in response. And now the retake. Here. Viper's alive, Korea's in position. It ain't feeling good. Watching here. Anything to deny it. I don't know. That could be the big denial. Not sure if it's gonna work out for now. It looks like a resounding no. Already down to just Stark's own bone call trying to play this back through. JD's lost out on this. And Stark, so not bad, okay. But now Korea. They just gotta wait out of the utility. I don't know if it's even Oh, it did work. Oh dear, Kriya's found Bone Cold, didn't get it halfway either. The wall went down early on, it was broken. And there it is, well played by... Could be in problem. Spike's now down. Interesting play through middle here. This is a bit of a different plan, bit of a different setup. Bone Cold, unchecked on, that's a little bit of an issue. How's he not... How's he gone unnoticed here? He'll be able to get a couple of fights, and there you go. Killjoy all invested. Yeah, that's a perfect ult, actually. It's going to force a lot of NLP out of these tricky spots. JD still finds one, though. Can't escape. See there, Korea with another lineup onto the spike, so it's going to be really difficult. I mean, NIP just got to hold their ground for the time being. Keyless finds two kills in response, so it's just Korea standing once again. Oh, this fight is so... <gasps> That's so good! Fade away on scene at the time. He just has to play the time, and now he gets the confirmation. Keyless, you ain't on that spike. You can get the kill, but I get the Beautiful. round seven. Operator. On Icebox, and... All right, going to spot this push out from Ryan. I'm pretty sure he's heard it as well, so. Angle for Cena, so beautiful over the top. Bone Cold going to find Kriya. One Chihuahua as well. One enemy Two remaining. kills over on, and actually, Akukos going to be the last man standing here. So, Ascend. In like they might post their first round win. Akukos has got been left up his sleeve here. Hi, Pog. Have I told you? about the 1v5. No, you haven't. Please, continue. <laughs> to kind of hit the brakes a little bit and get 
themselves locked in. These A takes have been solid up until this point. Let's see what this looks like, though, because Bone Cold's right there. This is good. And look at the utility coming right back out. He's going to chase that. I'm pretty sure Ooh. that's perfection until he ran out of bullets. And seen it caught in the middle of the open. That looked... He was kind of caught in the chaos and Chihuahua. Oh, this is huge. Silently makes his way forward. At the same time, he did have support as well from Kriya, but Kriya got caught out by Starkso. But Chihuahua makes up for this and then some. Starkso now left in the 1v2. Up to hand and some tricky angles to play with. It's difficult here. If you can't swap out to a rifle, I don't expect NIP in this scenario in particular to give him an open peek. Well, we'll retrieve the spike. It does get planted. He's actually going to come on and try and fully there, leaning on towards A here. I'm surprised to not see one more move over. Ornamenta actually misses that one, and JD just going to creep up. Cool. Finds both headshots. Key doesn't call Ornamenta full. That's just nasty work, isn't it? Now, CNED's made it around, but by now the site's about to be taken, and the spike can go down. It is in the hands of the Kukos. Spike planted. CNED trying to clear as he goes. Try and find the angles that may can contain some of these players. Starkso does alleviate the pressure from one. And Starkso okay. finds a second. Now that's big work. Now CNED's gone unnoticed so far. They already know of where Starkso was. Now spotted. Now seen. Investment on the res and now we go again. Is there any utility on killers that could do yeah. something? I'm not sure on this. Maybe just to try and get a body on the spike itself. Starkso trying to be the defensive line, oh. but NIP now, because you can see Colomenta just hears the utility, sees it coming down. Kukos does find Bone Cold as well, so still doing damage on the other side of the map. This is a problem. Now Kila is in the middle of the smoke, gets found. NIP just bullying their way through. Oh, dearie me in the timing. Let's see who gets it. Starkso trying to cut mid. Kukos already seems to have an idea of the possibility, but no. The shot for Starkso is sharp enough That's that he gets win. the job done. And now 2v2. A big win. CNED and slipping. Kriya still has his utility, though. And neither member of Ascend actually pushed in that direction to pressure it, so... Gotta go fast. Oh, actually, CNED uh, potentially gonna try and get in ahead of it. We'll tank the first Hunter's Fury blow, but... Follow-up gonna come Ooh. through. He does actually catch him in the corner there. It's already on a half Halfway. stick, though. Oh! Starkso got to slip away from that. Finds Rhyme first and Kriya now the last man standing. Five bullets left. Yeah, not enough HP to stick it through there. And Kriya will clean that one up. 11-1 in the first half of Icebox here. Why don't you take this one? You're going to see immediately. They're going to wall up a send actually onto the backside of Boiler. That all kind of splitting off the left side of the Kitchen. Might be able to isolate this kill onto Kriya, but they've got to be quick about it here. Bit of a staggered push. CNED. Stays behind at the bottom of the tube and stars are there with the pinch. This is a fantastic setup from Ascend here. Complete map control. Whereas I said that, JD and Rhyme respond with two kills of their own. Uh, keep your eye on the HP though. It's a little bit of a concerning factor for Rhyme and JD, down to about 20. JD still finds value towards killers. That's impressive. Still be able to convert that kill brings. Oh. 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 What is going on? A 1v1. Bone cold. Still alive against Rhyme. Rhyme is. Pretty much a one shot here. 20 HP and Bone Cold for the perfect person. The post plant yeah. keeps his keep going. Go. Yeah, yeah, no, it can't stop. I do like seeing the map being divided in new ways. You know, those same default plants are pretty unfavorable, honestly. It's, it's very tricky to make work. So it's nice seeing kind of new ways to do it. It's really, really quite interesting. Now, at this round, look at the money. Chihuahua, yes, still has that rifle he saved last round. Now that's a that's a favourable angle for Kriya. Yeah, gonna find Bone Cold. That could be a gun recovered. JD's there to try and help out. It looks like up and over, kind of keep that blade storm working in the right direction. And look yeah, how quickly it. he's clearing this. Yeah, that's big information because just Chihuahua, get ready. You're about to have a boatload of players coming your way. Steps heard. Here we go. Tries to get on the early fight. That's really good. The reads really good oh. for a second. Chihuahua. Perfect play to buy time on the rotation too. This is everything you could have wanted. Cold Meta now paranoid about the back and he's right to be as such. And look at this. Spike can come down, but Korea finds CNED. And now Cold Meta left in a 1v3. Finds the first. He went clutch in the last to couple out. of... Yeah. If the wall drops now... Oh my god, Korea missed the first shot. We didn't see him. I heard it there. And that's the thing. I mean, Cold Amenta has to find that second player there. He's going to spot the barrel. He can find Chihuahua for free here. That's one. Bone Cold, that's two. 
And now there's problems everywhere. Bone Call can just try and fade away into the night, but Rhyme does find Killers in the meantime, and they even are instantly back up. Bone Call and Killers both go down, and all that advantage fades away to nothing. There's now the spike ticks away. Stocksworth finds one. The trade's excellent. Really well done. Just up close at this point. Now all of these utilities thrown down. But look at Ryan just catching Sarkso on the way out. This is looking like it could be wrapped up here. Who do we have left? Coldamenta, Cened, Killers, and Killers doubling down. And this is massive again. Coldamenta finds JD. They're desperate to hold on here. They do not want this to slip away. And nested. And Akukos can't ignore it, has to play into it and finds a player you'd want. Bone Cold. And now they're in the open. And suddenly there's threats everywhere. Kriya and Chihuahua called upon now in a 2v3 to deny the comeback. To stop him before it starts, but Zened, he wants this and he's going to get it. Also, no wall. It still has some smokes, but yeah, Cold and Mentor actually going to open things up once again. Here you go, the Spot. challenge comes through. Stars are actually going to swing out. Kriya falls JD. 2v2. Tip for tap. And has Rhyme gone on no- <gasps> Okay, the res comes in. I thought that angle was right for JD. I thought he had it for a second. No, Rhyme now left and it does not matter. Stark, so to keep this one in check and trying to get a little uncomfortable. Nothing's quite working and CNED's doing weird CNED things and you don't know how to stop it. This is where it all gets a bit sketchy. Look at that money, man. They don't, they'll never be without a gun. Yeah. They can keep that wealth. Spot set. There's three players here. Now that's a bit of a dirty angle. JD being played away in the corner. Good trade for killers to allow that to not go unanswered. But they did take down the heavy hitter. CNED's now gone. So it's a 4v4 but without CNED. Hunter Fury actually yeah, missed by Coleman to shut down Chihuahua's lockdown. Actually going to get a tag as well. Akukos caught out on site after he finds a kill. Watching here. But Healer's lockdown doesn't grant them Sight control. We will now get the wall down. He's trying to spam through Rhyme. Can't break it to stop the spike. Now Ascend will have an opportunity to play the post plan here with no utility though. Look at the right side of the screen. This is There's all none. guns. Kriya's got a little, but it ain't much. Rhyme's back on it. Here we go. See if he gets anything for this. Okay, bit of information on killers. That's not bad. Chihuahua, first to touch. Spots out one, force the fight. Killers here. Looking for the fight, and it's NIP to find two, and uh-oh, it's suddenly... Wait, Starkso's on the flank. He's given nothing away yet. Diffuse is going to make it to halfway right about now. They know nothing. It's going to be a surprise. Oh, he's gone down! On short here. Whoa, actually, again, the flash going to go through the wall, so they're going to try and close this kill down onto Rhyme. Neither of them able to find it, but a one-for-one one trade. JD comes back through and picks up CNED, so... Man, advantage goes over to NIP early on here. Yeah, this is... I want to see that... Oh, Cold and Mentor, the timing was pretty atrocious for him. Then try to go walk about in mid to try and maybe pick up those pieces of information that were lost as they did have that bit of a sloppy trade-out down kind of mid-short. And for now, Bone Cold's the one responding quickly towards B. Not quick enough to quite catch the player off who's slipping through towards Elbow. That's going to be a shot to the side of the head pretty soon. No, just about gets away with it. It's Chihuahua on the flank. He just needs a player who's sat towards Hooker to live, and this will be two quick kills. Yeah, there's one. Subbots out the second. Yeah, gorgeous work from Chihuahua. And Rhyme slowly making progress. I don't know if Bone Cold spotted that. It doesn't look as though he did. No, caught unawares and vulnerable. That's a big pickup, especially with the SMG now. Now, if that was recoverable, that would have been even bigger, but still good work from Rhyme. Yeah, and I mean, we talked about this a couple of times today already. Just, uh, the uncharacteristic things we've seen from NIP right there. I mean, spread so thin on this default to have somebody full on challenge that deep in showers. It's strange to see, but Stars are now got it all to do on backside. He's stuck in that slow, but holds the line. Chihuahua will fall. Korea posted up and find that one. Stars are actually going to note out two players there. JD up on top of the boxes. Last one. Actually, Stars are still standing. JD eventually deals with him here, and that's going to give high control over to NIP. All three players tagged up. JD going to hit the heel on himself. Keelers and CNED got to find a way back in here. It's a sick bonus round, and look at the damage done. Korea can just operate perfectly on towards that site. Spray away by Keelers, but 
the crossfire here. JD's mm. position is kind of the the spoiler to this killer. So would have to kind of swing out, hit the shot, and be untradeable, which is going to be very difficult for him to define. And it's the attempt now. Spots him out. Not going to happen. Can't get past the first. JD will find it. Ooh, the ultimate investment as well is quite unique. Now, that's going to be a curious one, because I feel as though that almost negated Zenith's presence, but apparently it makes it look so simple. He's still using that at such close range, and great work from killers as well, just kind of predicting, or at least kind of dealing with the bounding through rays. And now Chihuahua trying to even up the score, not going to see a tag come through yet. No, nothing achieved, and NIP looking Why'd worse for wear it? here. See, Ned. And to back away now. Oh, damn! The audacity on this man! Walks out, takes a big backs away again. And yes, the walls are there. Yes, they can at least kind of contain sight, but they are not impenetrable. There we go. Finally, a wall goes up, but old Korea's in all kinds of problems now. Swung on by a few good work, oh, killers. Good peek just to make sure where they are. And now here we go. Bounding through on showers. He should be noted. That should be sent right to him. <laughs> and Ascend just get wiped out on this. Unless a mad flank comes into play pretty soon. Killers has to be incredible in this. Spike goes down. Spots are on the left. Sees him. Looks towards the side. Gets the tag. Not the frag. Not good enough. The Kukos does him in. And now Stark so surrounded on all fronts. That kill would have been absolutely huge. And actually the wall going to go down. Try and box Starzo into lamps here. Prime now repositioned and will find the headshot. NIP strike back. Yeah, the Ascender pretty much well set up to receive this. Nice wall though towards Lamps. Rhyme on the swing as well. Really good work from Rhyme there. I actually really love this. Rhyme taking the aggressive swing. Oh. This is beautiful work. One mag just dumps them. And now Cena and Kiles. Now Cena does have his ult, but he needs Kiles to make some space here because Rhyme's going to just sacrifice himself if required, but he wants it all. He gets it all. Great work from Rhyme. Going out from Hookah, but timing's going to be a huge factor. Good flash all oh, The flash off the back, but there is Bone Cold needs to double. Oh, he can't. Chihuahua comes right back in, and now the site's theirs. This is going to be NIP's plant for sure at this point. Taking a second or two, actually. Maybe not. Korea hit the break for a second. Found Golden Enter and Cened. A pixel out of place. He uh, and here we go. Finally gets a 1v1. Wins it. Now that's no towards a shower. So really your options are going to be Hookah or Shorts. And Bone Cold just gets a freebie. And IP really 30 seconds left now. And they've got a completely fresh approach. Look at B's sight here. Cened will catch a Kukos on the jump. And re-peak onto Rhyme. Korea, the last man standing, will find the headshot, though. But any seconds, got to find another one. If he wants to find this plant, will do. But Cold Amenta. Just dips around the corner, just counting a couple of seconds. Yeah, the timing's excellent. Almost made a mistake, but no. Bone Call now breaks through. Beautiful. This is excellent stuff again. And that was lovely work from Ascend. That's the team I'm waiting to see. It's, yeah, I mean, because I hate to say it, obviously, with this slight switch... Oh, the Fury going to draw things down as well. Oh, this is... This is not pleasant at all, is it? This is well held, of course, by Ascend, but NIP just having nothing. Ooh, and CNED just going to make sure of that. Bye-bye. Korea, done. <laughs> Starkso just bounds through. Oh, Starkso, hello. That ain't bad, and Ascend just burst onto the site. This is, this is theirs all day long. Ryan and JD trying to just bully the way through, and they're getting a couple of kills, but not enough. JD now left with it all in front of him, and Bone Cold says no. So here we go. Oh, weird with these smokes coming in. The way it's divided with these walls. Rhyme just trying to wait on the other side of this. And this is the difference with Astra. This is a very unique post plant now. Oh, okay. JD just swings on that, though. Here's... Kila still has both mollies, but again, the diffuser's coming through so early that it's not even going to matter. Rhyme's just sticking this one. It comes through. Starzo will find a constellation or two, but... And I they want to clear him as best they can. Killers are just going to kind of put him into the box for now. Okay. Put that down. He can't really do too much. They can at least keep some part of this site safe. Now the spike is planted. A 4v4 post plant. And actually, yeah, the... Kila's going to get the ultimate down nice and early. Bone cold and cold Amenta. 
find two kills. Now it's just on Kriya and Akukos here, and there's so much chaos on site right now. Bone Cold's position noted now. Elemento with a perfect pinch, and Kriya just got to try and find something, do some damage to the economy, but a nice round. Uh, I was going to question... They're already they've stacked up plant. for this. Yeah. Look, look how much site control they've been able to maintain, though. Like, NIP playing back into this, they're going to have to try and clear site. That's great work from Akukos to be able to clear this much, get that much info, get right back into site. Now we see Viper's utility coming out to play. That's going to at least divide the site in some way, force the fight from CNET. Ryan gets it, now just throws his body into it. Gets called a mentor. JD pushes forward, expects the peak from Lamps and finds it, and then Beautiful. forcing killers out of the smoke. And he's done for. Stark's own now left in the 1v4. And this retake was absolutely picture perfect. And sadly for Stark's own, he can't go any further. They need to get progress building early. Because if that spike gets here and they've got nothing, it's 20 seconds until sight here. Here we go. Rhyme decides to go on the first. He had to in the end. CNED makes it tricky, though. And now Kree's down to 11 HP, so Bone Cold just breaks on in. Now, 10 seconds. You can see them trying to catch that spike on the cross. 10 seconds. They need the spike to be down pretty soon. Stark so left in the 1v2, though. He can't find the time nor the space. And it was too late. Is N a little bit trickier? To split through towards B. The crossfire gets a little bit tougher to break. JD trying to get out of here. <laughs> uh, oh no, he's just gone towards Korea. What have you done? Oh no, you baited me out. That's a... T <laughs> just straight up baits out his buddy by sheer accident. Flying in. Bone Cold finds two. Chihuahua does trade through, so now back to a 3v3. Spike is on the site and Killers is going to keep the player towards the TP locked for now. It's a bit of a cat and mouse game, but Rhyme going to move forward, take a bit of site control. Akukos trying to find Killers, and now left in a big battle. Whoever wins this can lock down a huge portion of the map. And Akukos says, screw it, I'm going through towards Hookah. But Cena finding Chihuahua as big as Rhyme now tries to creep closer, finds him, marks his man once again. Oh, Rhyme, that's sublime, but now look at this. Killers, that post plant is dirty, and now here comes the biggest problem. Can they get it to halfway? Yes, but now they need to find out how to get around this, and Killers finds Akukos. He needs the second as well. Time. The so much left of it. Can Rhyme do anything about this? I don't know if he can. Killers is pretty wait, far away. Wait, but he's gonna stick wait. this. Oh, it's so good for Rhyme! Oh my breaking. Heartbreaking. All again, they I, all I, they needed to do was survive on long. All they needed I mean, to do. Tell okay. Rhyme tell Rhyme that. Tell Rhyme to just let him survive on long. Scary time now. Spike. Where is the spike, actually? Was that being planted? Wait, what on earth just happened? <laughs> the back and forth after walls. <laughs> oh, I was like, where is this new site that they've got the plant on? But what I see now is a 1v4. And this is going to be all well over. Oh, my word. Ascend. Crumbling towards the end of this 